Thing is, they're all the way in Rune. I'm sure we could... friends and welcome back to let's play the agency chapter one i'm your host magic man mo full disclosure this is a sponsored video um one of many in a series and uh right now in particular we're doing this to help promote the kickstarter to the agency chapter two they're working on a sequel to this game and they'd really love to have your help and um getting it off the ground basically if you're interested in this game or the kickstarter both those links are in the description down below without much further ado we're going to continue right into our uh, story we just met esmeralda ashamont um she she's a part of the ashamont clan or whatever uh, very rich very prestigious noble potentially the next in line for something it doesn't matter the point is she knows about Rufus Lansbury, who I'm making Captain Stendhal call Lewis for reasons, for reasons. So if I say Lewis, I mean Rufus Lansbury. Now you know. In case that wasn't clear last episode, or in case you're just jumping into the middle of the series and just watching this one. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Welcome to the Dragonfly, Lady Ashmont. Uh, please, just call me Esmeralda, Captain. I'm trying to keep a low profile. Understood. Anyway, on to what we came here to talk about. Esmeralda, what relation do you have with Lewis? I hired Captain Lansbury to look into a strange event that happened recently. Oh? And being a military man, I expect you to know of my late uncle, correct? Oh yes, Commodore Ellis Ashmont. I'm sorry for your loss. What happened to him? C come on, Beckwith. He died. <laughs> he and his squadron disappeared into a storm off the coast of Para. Okay, well, disappeared, but probably died, right? Probably? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. This was during the first month of the war, right? First month? That They did not make it very far. Indeed it was. It was a huge loss to the Imperial fleet. Had your uncle not... Oh, had your uncle not passed so tragically, I'm sure he would have been an admiral today. Uh, thank you for your kind words, Captain. So, what happened? Two weeks ago, someone broke into my uncle's crypt. What? As you know, my uncle's body was lost at sea. So during the burial, we put his old captain's uniform and some of his medals in the casket instead. Our groundskeeper noticed a hole and was... Uh, and when we got there, his uniform had been stolen. I then hired Captain Lansbury to investigate the matter and try to retrieve my uncle's uniform however possible. Any leads? It seems so. His theory was that the uniform must have had something deeply important in it. I'm thinking, I'm betting, I'm betting he's alive. I'm betting her uncle's alive and he came to retrieve his own jacket. Gotta think about it. Important. Oh, important enough to merit its theft from his crypt. That makes sense. Just so you know, we found out that he visited your aunt at the Astor Heights Tower four days ago. Yes, he asked me for permission to visit my aunt to ask her if she knew anything special about your brother's uniform. It seems as though he may have hit into something else, though. Why do you say that, Captain? He came to this very bar and told our friend, the owner, that he and other PIs like myself were in danger. This was the last that any of us had seen of him. I see. It seems we'll need to work together to get to the bottom of this. Indeed. I was thinking the same thing. We need to work together. Very closely together. Ah, oh, gross. Lewis is one of my closest and oldest friends. We need to find him. I have some papers and records I shared with him last I saw him. Uh, perhaps you could take a look and see if you might find a lead from them. Thing is, they're all the way in Rune. I'm sure we could... 
Oh my, action. What was that? One of the windows just broke. Hey guys, bad news, someone is attacking my bar. You seem awfully calm. This happens surprisingly often, kid. You need a hand fighting them off? <laughs> nah, it's okay, just some local thugs. My boys are fighting them off as we speak. They should be done in a bit. I would recommend you guys wait in the back room while we're cleaning up this mess. Okay, then. Great, so sorry for the inconvenience. Hull's voice changes every time I use it. Every time I change his voice. Everyone disappears one at a time. So we're, we're going to the back room to hide while there's some sort of fight breaking out in the bar. I bet it blows up into a bigger deal and we have to like make an escape. We should be safe back here. Still, we should remain vigilant. He seemed pretty relaxed. Oh, he seemed pretty relaxed about it. Hull's gray market business affairs do garner him a bit of attention, so he hires a lot of muscle to keep his place safe. Just relax. We should be fine. Hey guys, sorry about that. It's all been taken care of now. Thank goodness. All, all your men okay? That was quick. That was really quick. A few cuts and bruises here and there, but nothing too serious. Where are the thugs now? They went away soon after my men overpowered them. Shame you couldn't catch one. It would be good to know who sent them. On that subject, they did leave a piece of paper behind during the scuffle. It has your name and a picture of you on it, Captain. Oh my gosh, it was a hit. They were gonna get the Captain. Damn it, looks like we're being tailed. No wonder Lewis got all spooked out. Theo, go put in a phone call to the barkeep at Silver Wings and tell him to close up shop early tonight and to make sure he locks everything up. Sure. So I take it we're not going home tonight? Too dangerous. They may have people waiting for us back there. Let's wait it out a few days, and then we'll come back during the daylight with some extra muscle. Oh, can I hire a few of your boys for that day? Of course, man. I'd be disappointed if you asked anyone else. So, where shall we go then? Hey, actually, I was hoping you guys could come to my estate in Rune. Perhaps we could work together towards finding Lansbury and seeing what he's been up to. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. I could do with a bit of a, bre a bit of a break and ruin. But we haven't packed our money. B uh, we haven't packed, and our money's back at Silver Wings. Actually, I didn't put the Duke's payment in the safe. I have it with me. What? Why? I don't know. I had one of those weird sixth sense moments, and I felt we needed it with us, and, or I was gonna spend it all on one or the other. That sixth cent of yours never fails you. It sure saved us uh, tons of times during the war. So it's decided. Looks like we'll be accepting your invitation, Esmeralda. Alright, so we're gonna go stay with Esmeralda in her estate in Rune. While uh, everything blows over, apparently someone's after the captain. Probably the agency in general, because we're on to somebody. A few hours later... Cotsworth Manor, Rune Countryside, Duchy of Rune, Ionian Empire. Welcome to my home, Cotswold Manor. You have quite an impressive home, Esmeralda. Uh, this is your clan's ancestral house, isn't it? Yes, it is. Though the majority of my clan has moved to Scalva to partake in the Empire's politics and finances. But I chose to stay here to take care of my family's home and relics. My uncle loved this place, too. He was always here when he wasn't on duty. I can see why. It's a swanky gig. Swank, swanky digs, bro. I'll give you guys a proper tour tomorrow when there's more light. For now, I'm sure you're all very tired from the day's excitement. My butler will be up in a while to bring you some food and some drinks. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that Esmeralda is, like, in on this. That she set up the fight to force us to come here for some reason. Maybe? Maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe that's outlandish. That might be a little too far-fetched. Ah, oh, I'm a bit tired myself. 
Is there somewhere where I can lay down like a couch, like a really long couch with a bunch of with a bunch of pillows and a ton of cushions <laughs> like right in front of me? Cotterwall uh. Manor has plenty of rooms. Here, why don't you take this one to the left? I don't mind if I do. What do we got here? What is this? Here you go. You have an exquisite. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that word before in my life. I'm sure it's a real word, but I don't think I've ever seen ensuite before. You have an ensuite bathroom and a bar. It's so fancy. I suggest you use the curtains if you want to get any sleep. It is bright, isn't it? We we have very few tall trees here in the room, let alone tall buildings. The sun really does come in early. The trip from Scalva was a few hours. Anyway, thank you ever so much, Lady Ashmount. It's my pleasure, Wink. If you're feeling peckish, there is some food downstairs in the living room. What a nice room. I never imagined I'd be sleeping in such a manner. Actually, I am a bit hungry. The trip from Scalva was rather long. I'll go down and see what Lady Ashmont's butler brought up. I'll go down to find out what the butler brought up. Sure. A breakfast. Trouble sleeping? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, no, I didn't try to sleep. I'm actually hungry, but I will lie to you and tell you that I'm having trouble sleeping. Hard to sleep when there's so much light. Back with just what you're lying <laughs> you're lying you're hungry oh okay figured i get a snack to help me sleep i don't know about you but getting a snack never helps me sleep getting a snack only wakes me up then i end up watching tv or something it's a whole mess come have a drink son but but that's not food <laughs> thank you sir so what keeps you from your sleep hunger hunger captain <laughs> Today, at the Dragonfly, when I heard those men come after us, it was terrifying. I peed my pants so hard. I peed my pants so hard. I'd never experienced anything like that in Voss. I know for veterans like yourself and Hull, this was nothing, but, you know, for little pansies like me, I was scared out of my mind. No, it was terrifying. Oh, Captain, come on, please, you don't have to humor me. You don't have to humor back with. Especially for me, I had my daughter with me. Captain, your daughter is literally the muscle of your agency. <laughs> you were not scared. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. You can't do that. But I had to keep my composure because I didn't want her to be scared. Oh, please, Fio's not scared of anything. You know, sometimes I think your father and Clark did the right thing by retiring away from Scalva. It's become such a dangerous place after the war. Voss really isn't much better. After all, I had to come to you in Scalva just to gain employment. Is there a job you really wanted, son? I wanted to serve in the Imperial Fleet like you and my dad. Sometimes I wish I had been born ten years earlier so I could have served in the Great War. It would have been glorious. Be glad you didn't. War is terrible. It's a terrible, terrible thing. War. War never changes. We fought this war to unify all the nations, so that our children would never have to fight a war. But what about the stories about the glorious campaigns and victories? Glorious campaigns and victories? Please, all well and good for admirals and generals pushing figurines around a map. I wonder how many of them walked through the battlefields after the encounter. How many smelled the nefarious odor of rotting flesh? How many of them held a dying comrade in their arms as they pulled their last breath? How many marched through a town we had finished bombing and looked the local population in the eye? I didn't know you felt this way. I'm not proud of this, but I only really began thinking about it a lot as the war was coming to an end. You see, I've been a soldier all my life. For me, it had become normal. It all changed for me when the Imperial Fleet began manufacturing new models of airships and my, air, and my ship was being phased out. When my ship was new, I ran a lot of reconnaissance and transport missions. 
Of course, we took part in the occasional battle formations, but in general, since we were up in the air, we didn't really see the worst of him. It all changed about three years into the war. As I said, when the new models arrived. My ship was considered too old and slow and generally unfit for the types of missions we did in the past. I was offered command of a new ship and crew, but I refused as my crew had become my, my family and I didn't want to leave them behind. My ship was reassigned to support an infantry regiment and that's when I began really seeing how truly awful and monstrous war was. What did you see? I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I mentioned some things earlier. That should be good enough for you. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't I didn't mean to push you. I, I didn't I didn't mean to press the issue. I mean honestly, I just came down for a bite to eat. It's okay. I was just like you when I was young, so I really can't blame you. I really believed in the Empire and everything she stood for. We had great cities like Scalva and Voss that stood as beacons of industry. I wanted all the other nations to share in our opulence and advancements. For them to know the comforts of our culture and scientific ways. At the end, all we brought was death and destruction. We thought we could educate and civilize them. But at the end, all we really taught was violence. I just earnestly hope that for all the blood that was shed, we never see a war again. Then maybe, just maybe, all the killing wasn't quite so senseless and ridiculous. I hope so, sir. Hope so. Get some rest, kid. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> wow. What? We're gonna end today on a really deep note. Voice acting? Or just I loading? I imagined. Voice acting. I'm a detective. I can't always remember the exact steps that led me here anyway. The end of the war marked the end of my career as a soldier. There was no more need for those like me. All the conquering was done. The whole world was part of the same nation. I could hardly go back to being a teacher. After seeing the horrors of war, it's hard to tolerate the naivety of children. I suppose violence had become routine. Being a private eye would have terrified that me. Looked like a robot. Days. Now it's simply par for the course. War is a terrible thing. I look like a robot. <laughs> Those look like butterflies floating around me. I wonder if that if that means something deeper, on a deeper level. Hey, does Feel literally say hey to me every morning? Like every morning, I've woken up and Feel's just in my face. Just, hey, I've been watching you sleep. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to have to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. If you're interested in this game, uh, The Agency Chapter 1, link to that in the description down below, as well as a link to the Kickstarter to The Agency Chapter 2. They need your help to get this sequel kickstarted. By, by gum. By gum they do. And um, honestly, they're not asking for a lot, so if we can get enough people... To, to, to throw their support in, I mean, it wouldn't be too hard, I don't think. I mean, it's they're not asking for a lot, so it's not, you know, it's not like some of these crazy devs are like, we want $10,000, $50,000. It's not much. Um, I mean, it's more than I can just shuffle out, obviously. Uh, but go check it out. Go check out their Kickstarter page if you're interested. I don't mean to spiel about this too much, but the reason I keep bringing up the Kickstarter is because it is time sensitive. You know, there's a limited number of days before the Kickstarter is over, and that's why I keep harping on it. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm biased because I'm being paid to play the game. My, I, I always, I'm always self-conscious. I don't want you guys to feel like I'm trying to push this on you because I'm, I'm paid to tell you about it. You know what I mean? Um, but at the same time, I do want to bring you a, bring awareness to it if you are interested in the game. Like, I'm actually into this, and I'm considering... Uh, um, I haven't yet, I'm, I, but I am, I'm considering putting down money myself to help kickstart this. So, um, because I'm actually really into this story. I haven't beat Chapter 1, but I might put a few bucks down for Chapter 2 because I think it'd be really cool to see a sequel. You know what I mean? Anyway, I've rambled for too long. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share with friends, YouTube stuff. Yada yada yada, you know the drill. Two more episodes of this coming out. I hope to see you guys on the next episode of Magic Man Mo. <laughs>
Bye.